We're going to peel back the layers of restrictions surrounding the pandemic and officials in Carroll County want the state to take it a little further. WMER 2 News Jeff Hager tonight on a push to drop the mask in the classroom. To wear a mask or not to, Carroll County wants the power to determine that for itself here in its public schools. The teachers have had a chance to get vaccinated, as have students 12 and over. So some school board members and members of the state delegation want Carroll County to be able to decide for itself when to drop masks in the schools. The evidence seems to be pretty clear based on all the data we've had for the last 15 months that kids, particularly kids that are younger than teenagers, there's, there's almost no risk of a serious case for a child. The hope is that the letter to the State Board of Education would allow each school district to make its own determination about lifting the restriction based on its own numbers. Our community spread in Carroll County is, is now become very small. The spread inside schools has been, has been small throughout, but is now minuscule. And so for us, it's just like at, at some point, this is becoming more theatrical than it is science or fact-based. While some critics suggest unvaccinated children ineligible for shots could be put at risk, supporters of local control say even when they get it, many may decide not to, and they frown upon discriminating between the two. I, I have heard it may be by fall they can, but a lot of people don't want to give their six, seven, eight-year-old this vaccine because, they, again, the chances of a child contracting this and having a serious case, much less a fatal case, is, is so tiny as to almost be almost be zero statistically. So again, I don't want to set up a scenario as well where we're saying, well, you have to wear your mask until you get your vaccine. Reedy said he's not expecting an immediate response from the state's Department of Education, but the sooner the better with so many students looking at returning to summer school. Reporting in Carroll County, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.